Cyber level, obviously you've been around the program for a year, but to get the promotion, what does it mean to you? Uh, it's been very exciting. You know, it's, uh, it's a position that I feel very comfortable with, a linebacker, and it's a great opportunity uh, to get a lot more involved in recruiting and uh, to kind of get my, my hand back in the linebacker position where uh, you know, I think I can help some, some kids from uh, my experience and just uh, excited to be full-time. Having played and having played so recently, what advantage does that give you in, in coaching these young guys? You know, I think anytime you've, you've kind of walked in the same shoes as the players, uh, there's a, a level that you can communicate and uh, of understanding, and you're asking them to do things that, that you know can be done or if things are difficult, you, you kind of understand the, the problems that they're in, and, and it's uh, easier to relate to them, I believe. To be able to be a full-time member now of this coaching staff, I mean, full-time last year, you know, officially full-time. Um, talk about the chemistry the staff has and working with Justin and the guy you know well. Well, uh, you know, it's been with Justin, you know, we have a, a long history together, so, uh, you know, that's been good working with him. And, and Terry was great last year, uh, you know, him letting me help out a little bit there. And, and Lance does a great job, so the four of us are, uh, you know, going to continue to work and push each other and try to improve. Do you feel like you're a better coach now having worked with the secondary in addition to your experience with linebackers? I do. You know, I think anytime you, you see things from a different point of view, I think it, it uh, improves uh, your overall understanding of the concepts and the schemes. And, and something that helped me a lot last year was, uh, you know, starting to understand more of the passing game and uh, hat the splits and the different kind of alignments and how they, how they change the passing game for the offense. What has been the biggest adjustment? Well, moving offices was an adjustment, so <laughs> now I got a door I can close. So that's nice. Uh, really, it's just the recruiting responsibilities, and uh, you know, I got a pretty large area, so just just getting through uh, the initial evaluations of so many players and uh, making those those contacts with the high school coaches, and you know, that's kind of the, some of the busy work uh, that's involved in the recruiting. Going back to fall camp, a lot of the guys in the secondary you talk about how well you related to each other. Do you feel like that's something that's going to be a strength for you in recruiting your ability to relate to people? Uh, you know, I think you always relate to people. Uh, you know, sometimes you have a great rapport with some people, and sometimes, you know, maybe personalities just don't mesh. Uh, the safeties last year, I had a good, uh, you know, we had good personalities that came together, and, and uh, I loved working with them, and, and it was nice that they, they thought I related well with them. And the more uh, comfort they have, in uh, what you're saying and how you're trying to help them improve, I think the more they're going to use those techniques. How would you describe your coaching style? Uh, my coaching style, uh, I think I can probably have two separate styles. In the, in the meeting room, I try to be very, uh, very teacher-friendly and make it a, an easy environment to learn. Uh, really, I try, to have, I try to have no anxiety for the players in the room so they can be wrong and talk and not, not be worried about being wrong on the field. It's uh, you know it's going to be different where you you demand and expect uh, them to do what you're asking them to do and do it with great effort. Then the other coaches kind of saying, oh, yeah, two coaches. Well, I'm saying in, in the in the meeting room uh, will be different than on the on the grass field. I think in the meeting room you have to have a, an open environment where they can talk and not be criticized for being wrong. But on the you know, once you step across the lines, then it's time to, to do it the right way and, and uh, you know kind of thicken up your skin and be ready for some criticism. What do you think about the returning linebackers? You know, uh, Austin's had a great offseason. John Probst had a great offseason. Uh, Daryl Vereen, really Daryl and Austin done a great job of uh, stepping up that leadership role that was vacated by Nick. And, uh, John's had a uh, very nice offseason as well. You know, we got Greg King coming back who was hurt last year. And so uh, we got a lot, of, a lot of tools to work with. We just got to really come together as a group and really try to find the best places for those guys to play and what, you know, what we're trying to match up their skill sets and what they can do and how they can help us.